we're back with another episode of Unapologetically Sham, where we talk about everything self-care, mental health, and a splash of pop culture, and anything and everything that I want to talk about. So, today's episode will be called, What Are You Doing With Your Dash? I know when you hear that, you're like, what are you talking about? What is a dash? Well, just look at it like this. You know when, I don't want to be morbid, but you know on a tombstone, there is a dash in between the day you are born and the day that you transition, right? So what I mean by what are you doing with your dash really is focusing on what are you doing to make the most out of life. That dash is the in between time period of your life. So what are some some positive impacts that you are making in this world that makes that dash worth it? We all have to think about what are we creating or leaving behind for the next generation, for our descendants when we're long gone you know one of my favorite artists is alia and one of her last interviews um from uh, mtv diary i I don't know if y'all remember that show i wish they would bring that back it was pretty cool but um one of her her last interviews They basically asked her, like, what would she want her legacy to be? Which was very eerie because she did that interview maybe like a month before she passed away. But they really asked her what what do she want people to see her legacy as? And as I think about that, as I've gotten older, it's like, what do I want people to remember me as, you know, when when people have their funerals and people speak of eulogies most of the time i feel like they're not being completely honest all the way uh, how they really feel about a person but a lot of the times people are you want people to speak very highly of you not just the 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 things you had but who you are as a person like what your spirit was on this earth like who did you impact what did you do to make others think differently about their life like in a positive way was you a positive spirit did you do positive things for other people so it is very important to think about what you want your legacy to be when you're long gone because you don't want to be remembered for doing nothing and or just being a negative person or you know not making any type of impact in anybody's life you don't want to be remembered as that and you don't want to allow life to pass you by because it it can it just flies on by you blink and it's five years later that's what it feels like and I, I use my father as an example like why I have to do so much because I want to be remembered as a a good person, a positive person, someone that made a difference in other people's lives. I don't want to look up 10 years later and I'm stuck in the same place. And that's him. That's why, you know, I look at his, his life and I'm like, I don't want that. I would never want that for myself because I can't just sit and allow the world to pass me by because I lost my mother or because I lost this or I didn't have that or somebody didn't do this for me. You know, I I can't allow that to happen in my life because if I want something to happen in my life, I have to go out and I have to create what I want in my life. Like 
faith without works is dead if you don't put in the work ain't nothing coming to you like nothing is meant to just be handed to you you have to put in that work or it ain't gonna never happen you know yes you can manifest everything that you want and that your heart desires but you also have to put in that work so that the things that you want can manifest you know kind of going off the topic i'm talking about manifestation but you know it kind of ties in with you know what i'm talking about what what are you doing with your dash and for me what i'm doing for my dash is i am trying to put out positive energy into the world positive um you know this podcast is nothing but positivity i'm bringing awareness to self-care uh the importance of your mental health letting you know that it's okay to go through stuff it's okay to not be okay all the time like we're not meant to be strong super people it it does does not how it works like we all go through ups and downs no matter what you think you might look at somebody else and think they don't go through stuff but in reality everybody goes through something in their life and it's just like I just want to make sure that I bring that awareness and and let you know that I'm not perfect either. I go through, you know, ups and downs all the time. Like, I'm trying to learn how to control my emotions, learn how to deal with my depression a lot better, learn how to not be afraid to say I can't do something or it's just... I, I, it's just not for me you know I'm learning a lot of things about myself and I'm learning how to put myself first finally so that that is part of my dash is just helping people understand the importance of self-care and mental health in our lives and how to be better and be more positive you know Uh, So that's why my business Amore24 is so important to me because it is helping me to grow as a person also as well as helping others. So that's why I am so, so proud of this business that I've created, even though it could be far further than what I want it to be you know where it could be at this moment but you know I'm still growing I'm still learning about having a business anyways and so I, I'm I'm happy with the progression that it is at this moment and it's going to continue to grow and I I manifest that it becomes a multi-million dollar business and I can do speaking engagements and all of this. So if I I go back and listen to this like a year or two from now and I'm doing all of that and this business blows up in a positive way, I'm going to be like, dang, I manifested that. I spoke that into existence. But yeah, that that's just what I'm trying to do with my dash. I'm just trying to live the best life I can live. Like Lil Duval would say. <laughs> He living his best life and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to live my best life and, you know, create a happy home for my children and my husband and learn how to be the best person overall that I can be. So that's my dad. So I want you all to sit down and really think about what are you doing with your dash? Are you on the right track that you feel you're supposed to be on? Are you focusing on your dreams and what you want out of life like that's something i feel you everybody needs to sit down and think about because we all have to transition one day and i just hope and pray that everybody is fulfilling their purpose whatever that may be and don't think that your purpose is a job because a lot of us think like oh our purpose what is my purpose what is my purpose your purpose could be to just spread love spread positivity to people that could be your purpose on this earth or your purpose could be not only being a mother or father but that could be one of your purposes it don't mean you have to have one purpose you could have multiple purposes in this world so think about 
are you on the right track to fulfilling those purposes while you're here on this earth and are you spreading love and positivity each and every day all right so we're gonna wrap this one up and i hope that this has brought some enlightenment to you some eye-opening how do, how do i want to say this eye-opening um experiences or thoughts in your mind today about what are you doing with your dash and I hope that you all have a great wonderful week and you have nothing but love and positivity in your life all right thank you for listening to unapologetically shine and also we are available on all types of streaming services that you can listen to apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, spotify pocket cast breaker radio public anchor and i always upload an episode on youtube so if you don't know how to do all the other ones check out youtube my youtube channel life with sean i'm sorry i didn't put that in a lot of other ones i probably have but i don't know Life with Shine, you can go check it out on there. And I do appreciate you all for listening and you have a great week. All right, bye.